Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of integration. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that we have been asked to find the value of an integral which has the limits from 0 to pi over 4. And the expression given to us is x dx divided by sine raised to 4, 2x plus cos raised to 4, 2x dx. So this is the value of the integral that have been asked to us. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been presented, the options are root 2 pi square over 8. The second answer choice we have been given here is root 2 pi square over 16. The third answer choice we have is root 2 pi square over 32. And the last answer choice we have here is root 2 pi square over 64. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. So let's figure out how to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you, but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. So you understand them in a better way. Let's see how to solve this question further. So we have been given here the question that we have to evaluate the value of this integral. Now, when I have this, first of all, I can see in the numerator, we have just x, but in the denominator, we have 2x and 2x. So what I can do here is I can just use the idea of substitution first and let's substitute 2x as t. So if I'm substituting 2x as t, if I take the derivative further, I get 2dx is equal to dt. Now once I have 2dx is equal to dt, I can write this dx as dt over 2. So basically when I have dx as dt over 2, let's see what my integral becomes. So if I see i is equals to now the limits if i see that are also going to change so let's change the limits so x was going from 0 to pi by 4 so t basically we know 2x we have put as t so x is t over 2 or i can find t directly with 2x so we're just multiplying the two limits with 2 so 2 into 0 is 0 and 2 into pi by 4 is pi over 2. so you have the limits from 0 2 pi over 2. Now, once I have the limits from 0 to pi over 2, let's see what is in the numerator and what is in the denominator. So, you have dt already and the numerator here is x. So, instead of x, I can put here t over 2. So, basically, we know already from previous expansion that dx is nothing but dt over 2 and x is t over 2. So, it gives me here t over 2 and dt over 2. Denominator, if I see, it becomes sine raised to 4t plus cos raised to 4t. So we have this entire expansion in terms of t. Now, if I further try to solve this 2 and this 2 in the denominator comes out from here, becomes 1 over 4, 0 to pi over 2, 1 divided by, or let's say t divided by sine raised to 4t plus cos raised to 4t dt. So we have this entire expansion. Now, once I have this entire thing, I can just use the idea of property of definite integrals, which says a to b f of x dx is equals to same limits from a to b. And instead of f of x, I have f of a plus b minus x dx. So that is the whole idea. Let's see. So here, if I apply that same idea, I get i is equals to 1 over 4, 0 to pi over 2. Instead of t, I can write this as 0 plus pi over 2 minus t. So pi over 2 minus t divided by sine raised to 4. This is pi over 2 minus t. Cos raised to 4, pi over 2 minus t, dt. Now, once I have this entire thing, we know 
sin of 90 minus theta and cos of 90 minus theta. So sin of pi over 2 minus theta is equals to sin theta. Oh, sin of 90 minus theta is cos theta, sorry. And cos of 90 minus theta, that is pi over 2 minus theta, is sin theta. So we have both of these ideas with us. Once I have both of them with me, I can further try to solve and evaluate the value for this expression. So let's try to solve this. So I becomes limits from 0 to pi over 2, 1 over 4 as it is out, and you get pi over 2 minus t dt divided by the previous expansion, if I see. It was sine of 90 minus theta, which we know now it's cos theta. So cos raised to 40 plus this becomes sine raised to 40. So if I see, it becomes cos raised to 40 plus sine raised to 40. So you have this entire thing. Now, once I have this entire thing here, I get from here 1 over 4 limits from 0 to pi over 2. So if I put, let's say, this is my expression i. So let's put this is number one equation. And the second, which we got, this is two. So if I'm adding both of them, let's see what I get. So adding one and two. So I get here i plus i is equals to one over four, zero to pi over two as it is. The previous expression was t dt divided by cos raised to 4t or sine raised to 4t plus cos raised to 4. And the second part of this expression, if I'm adding, it's again 1 over 4 limits from 0 to pi over 2. And it becomes pi over 2 minus t divided by cos raised to 4t plus sine raised to 4 dt. So we get this entire thing. Now if I see, I get actually 2i equals 1 over 4 common. Limits of 0 to pi over 2 is also common. Also, if you see the denominator is same here. So since the denominator is same, let's take a same denominator. And you get from here t plus pi over 2 minus t. dt. So t and minus t gets cancelled. You get pi over 2. Pi over 2 gets multiplied with 4 in the denominator. The limits from 0 to pi over 2 becomes 1 over sine raised to 4t plus cos raised to 4. Dt. And this is 2. So I get from here i equals pi over 16. The limits from 0 to pi over 2. And we have 1 over sine raised to 4t plus cos raised to 4t dt. So we have this. Now, further, if I try to solve and evaluate this expression, let's see how to do that. So we have this entire thing. Now, if I want to evaluate this further, I can just put, or first of all, I can just divide this by cos raised to 4t. So we know already that whenever sine and cos terms are there, make it basically a tan term. So to make a tan term, term here, I will divide this by cos raised to 40 in the numerator and the denominator. So I get it, i equals pi over 16, 0 to pi over 2. And this basically makes the expression as sec raised to 40 divided by sine divided by cos, we know it's tan, so tan raised to 40 plus cos divided by cos, which is 1. So we get this entire expression. Now if I put here, Let's substitute. So let's substitute tan t as y. So once I substitute tan t as y, I know sec square t dt is equal to dy. Now once I have that, let's see. So t and y, the t limits go from 0 to pi over 2. Sec, uh, so tan t, tan 0 is 0 and tan pi over 2 is infinity. So your limits change from 0 to infinity. So i equals to. 1 over 16, 0 to infinity is my limits. And not 1 over 16, I think it was pi over 16, right? Yeah, so pi over 16 
zero to infinity and your expressions now let's see what becomes so what you get is tan t you have put as y so it becomes y raised to 4 plus 1 here dy and your numerator if you see it was sec raised to 4t so you got sec square t dt is equals to dy right so what you can do here is let's see so i can write this sec raised to 4t further as let's see so sec raised to 4t i can write as sec square t into sec square t now once x square t with dt basically becomes dy so once x square t with dt basically becomes dy so we have written dy and now the once x square t which is left i can write that in the numerator as 1 plus tan square theta so 1 plus tan square t and we know tan t we have put as y so it basically becomes 1 plus y square so your numerator becomes 1 plus y square and denominator we already know it's y raised to 4 plus 1 so this becomes 1 plus y square. Let's try to further solve this. Now to further solve this, I know what I can do here is I can divide this with y square. So let's divide it by y square. So we get the understanding how to further solve this. So if I'm dividing throughout by y square for both of the expressions, let's yeah let's do that so dividing this by y square and this also y square. so what you get is i is pi over 16 limits from 0 to infinity the numerator becomes 1 divided by y square plus 1 dy numer and denominator in this case becomes y square plus 1 divided by y square now once i have this with me what i can do here is i can substitute so let's substitute. So y square plus 1 divided by y square. First of all, if I want to write it in the terms of a perfect square, I can write this as pi over 16 limits from 0 to infinity. 1 plus 1 over y square dy divided by. This, if I want to write it, I can write y square plus 1 over y square minus 2 plus 2. So from here, if I further try to solve this, I get i equals pi over 16 limits from 0 to infinity you have in the numerator 1 plus 1 divided by y square dy divided by the previous expression if i see it basically becomes a square minus 2 a b so i can write this 2 as 2 into a into b so y and y gets cancelled plus b square so you get this entire thing as y minus 1 over y the whole square so the denominator becomes 1 minus 1 over y, sorry, y minus 1 over y, the whole square. Once I have that, plus 2. Now what I can do is use the idea of substitution. So put y minus 1 over y equals u. Now once I have that with me, if I further try to differentiate it, I get 1 minus 1 over y, so plus 1 over y square, dy equals du. So we get this. So basically your entire numerator turns to become du. And when your entire numerator turns to become du, your limits also change. So y and u, I have y from 0 to infinity. So if I put it here, 0 minus 1 over 0, so minus infinity and infinity minus 0, which is infinity. So your limits of u becomes minus infinity to plus 1. So your limits for i becomes pi over 16 minus infinity to plus infinity you have here du because your entire numerator 1 plus 1 over y square dy becomes du so 1 du and denominator becomes this is u square plus 2 so you get u square plus 2 this is 1 so i can write this 2 as root 2 square also because root 2 square is 2 so i can get this 1 over x square plus a square which is nothing but tan inverse of x over a so u over root 2 into 1 over a so 1 over root 2. so we have this entire thing and the limits are given to us from minus infinity to plus you get from here pi over 16 root 2 tan inverse of u divided by root 2 and u divided by root 2 when i have here if i put the limits directly from infinity to minus infinity i get tan inverse of infinity which is pi over 2 tan inverse of minus infinity 
which in this case is minus 90. So you get pi over 2 plus pi over 2, which is 2 pi over 2, which is pi. You get here pi over 16 root 2 and pi over 2 plus pi over 2, which is nothing but pi. So you get from here pi square over 16 root. So you get the value of i that is pi square over 16 root 2. And if I further try to solve it because we need to rationalize it, root cannot be in the denominator. So pi square over 16 root 2, multiplying both sides with root 2 and root 2. So I get from here root 2 pi square over 16 into 2, which is 32. So root 2 pi square over 32. That is the answer which I get for the question. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question that is given to us here, the options, if I see, it matches with root 2 pi square over 32. So it should be option C. So C is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the integration rules. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.